Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Midwest Access. What am I supposed to say for welcome in Norwegian? Uh, uh, well, I know Tus and Talk is thank you very much. Val Coleman. Val Coleman. Val Coleman. Val Coleman. I got to brush up on my Access. Norwegian. I'm thinking. Can you guess where we are? Can you guess? The Norwegian sweaters. Maybe hint number one. And we have an, a home from Norway. From Norway. Hint number two. And the third hint is we're in Decorah. Iowa, having a great time because and there's a big festival coming up this weekend. We can't wait to share more about this. By the way, Vesterheim is the largest Norwegian American museum in this country. And we here we are. Yes, yes. I'm so excited that so we could bring Midwest access it's here to the decor. Vesterheim Norwegian Christmas, and yeah. it's happening this weekend. We're going to tell you all about it for this hour long here on Midwest Access. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Tom's with, by the way, because because I'm the he's resident 100% Norwegian. Norwegian. I'm know, a fourth. I, it was like, there, should we bring Nick? Down and I'm like, no, I'm the Norwegian here, so I'm coming down to Decorah, yeah. and I kind of push my way. Is yeah. that okay? No, yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's like the food and segment. You let me wear your Norwegian sweater. Yeah, these are the Dala Norwegian sweaters, yes. and I, I kind of had to go through all the sweaters and decide which ones we're going to wear. But they're warm, they're cozy, and they're from Norway. Yes. Hey, check out this house. Oh, we have us. to quickly show you. We have our question of the day. We'll get to that in just a second. This is the oldest house. Well, actually, it, was, it came from Norway. Like they brought this house on a ship. And they, what, they set it up like in the early 70s yeah, here in Decorah. Yeah, the Valdres House. The Valdres House. They brought it over on a ship from Norway. So it is like the real deal. So unique. Yeah. And this is something that you can check out if you do come to the Vesterheim. They actually had to unlock the doors for us because it is secure right. most of the time because it's very special. Yeah, check out this grandfather clock here again from Norway. One thing, I'm six foot three. If you are six foot three, over six feet, you got to really watch your head Look because at the door. I think people were really short back then, right? But so they, they took this house apart. I'm not sure if it was on the coast of Norway or kind of up in the mountains, yeah. but uh, we were looking at the village. I can't remember the name of the mm -hmm. vi village, but the Valdres house, mm -hmm. they took it apart, put it on a ship, and brought it over. Yeah, here. and Tom, we are still short a little bit because it works for me, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I, I, she said it. I didn't say <laughs> it, right. <laughs> um, okay, come on. Mohaugen. Heganess, Norway? Yeah, okay. So that's where but it's this just, house came from. I mean, the wood, it's just, they do such a great job here at Vesterheim taking these historic pieces and really taking good care of them and so that we goats. can all appreciate and enjoy them. We, we should address the elephant in the room. We have some goats out here. The goat in the room. The goats just <laughs> show up, or what's the goats about? Oh. So there is a connection mm -hmm. with the goats and Norway, so we're going to tell you about that a little bit later on, too. Okay, we, and we got to make sure we don't step. Um, <laughs> so, so, do the goats have names, by the way? They do. They are Patty and Selma. And do you have a name as well? <laughs> I'm Erin Ryan, you. and I'm with the Vesterheim Folk Art School, but I also have been bringing the Christmas goats to Christmas at Vesterheim for the past four or five years. Well, we're going to be talking we more are. to we you are. in just a few moments, but we love the goats.